All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here at the Milton County Sportsman's Association, and uh, we're testing out this little optic. This is part one of a two-part series. We're going to do a tabletop, go over the exact details. But what I want to do is I don't want to waste your time or anybody else's time, but I want to take this Palmetto State Army, just the Gen 2 AK PSAK-47, with, believe it or not, a UTG Pro mount. I want to do a review on the mount. We'll do it separately. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to use it first. I did have a Midwest Industries mount on here, uh, but the Midwest Industries mount was, a, it actually came over too far. And I talked to my good friend over there, 704 Tactical. He uses one of these things and he likes it. Uh, so what we're gonna do, uh, I've got targets set up. One, we're gonna zero at 50 yards. Then we're gonna shoot the targets at 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500 using this uh, ACSS reticle. Now the cool thing about this thing is it is truly a daylight bright, and I'll show you some images here in a minute. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and test this thing out, and, and this will be a sure measure to know. The two, two power prism, and I like the prism because it has an adjustable ocular. I don't have to wear my glasses. I can actually wear a pair of sunglasses. Not too bright out here today. But I will tell you this, the clarity, the contrast in the glass in this scope is absolutely stupid. Uh, now, the literature says the zero to thing in at 50 yards. So we're gonna do that. The daylight brightness, it is just, it is way bright. The nice thing about a two times prism scope is that it's not too far out there, it's not too far in, and I tell you what, the uh, the eye relief on this thing, you can go all the way up to here and all the way back to here. It's a happy medium to where you would use it normally for like an AK-47, which is what it's designed for, 7.62 by 39. Now what are we shooting? We're gonna be shooting this uh, uh, Golden Tiger, uh, 7.62 by 39. Full metal jacket. Let me put my glasses on again because I can't see. Uh, what's the weight on this stuff? 124 gram. And it is a uh, bull, it's, it's a solid point nose. But in, in any case, it's probably not the most accurate stuff in the world. I took the liberty to go ahead and uh, doing a zero on it at 50 yards, which is uh, what I guess it's supposed to be zeroed at. And uh, as a matter of fact, the reticle does get so bright, uh, especially right now, you actually have to turn it down. There are uh, 10 levels of brightness, I think. There's <laughs> an off, is all the way down. And I haven't even read the, uh, the instructions on it, which is kind of like what I wanted to do. I, I've, I've learned it. One of the things I want to do when I do zero scopes or do reviews on scopes, I want to mount it to the rifle without reading, seeing how intuitive it is, see how easy it is to set up. Uh, all I know is that it, it is a 50 yard zero and you want to verify, and I was told this by the great one himself, to go ahead and make sure that you calibrate it for a 300 yard impact. Now, most of the steels that I have today are 12 inch steels. There are some 10 inches out there, but we'll see. All right, so we're gonna run, this is a Magpul Gen 3 or Gen 2. We're going to go ahead and put it in this call window. Now, guys, uh, if you look in the community section of my uh, YouTube channel, there is a, a link to the Caldwell. This thing is a beautiful piece of machinery that you can use to zero stuff. There's that ocular. I love doing this. All right, so let's do this. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to pop two or three rounds down here at 50 yards. Way right. <laughs> yeah, that's at 50 yards, folks. I'm gonna do one more. I just want to see. You know what? I'm gonna put the safety on. The adjustments are made by using the caps that have a uh, like a screwdriver-like screw on them. Uh, very nicely done. You've got big directionals right here up. There's an arrow pointing. You've got also arrows pointing left and right or right on this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it over a little bit. Let's see if that made any difference on it. Here we go. All right, 
well, go with it. <laughs> I wish we had some better quality ammo, but this is, uh, I got a thousand rounds of this stuff, so this is what we're gonna use. Uh, the best ammo to have is the best, is the ammo that you have on hand. And again, we're gonna be using the Caldwell to bring it on. So that's 100 yards. We're gonna aim at the bottom. Let's see if it hits. Here we go. Right dead center. All right, so we're gonna bring it back. We're gonna take it up to the 200. Those are 10 inch targets right there. I'd like to thank Primo Targets, primotargets.com. Here we go. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so we're gonna take it up to the 300. That is a 12 inch target up there. So thank goodness they have some steel. It's a lot of fun to bring out a steel out. Okay, here we go. This is where it's gonna get interesting. All right, that's 300. So where did I put my 400 yard target? <laughs> I think it's that one. Okay, I can actually see the camera. All right, so we're gonna put it up at 400. Here we go. I don't know if I hit that or not. I couldn't hear it. That's usually a whopper. And yeah, there we go. Okay, so the cool part about it is I have uh, three targets at the 500. I've actually got one of my targets up there, the 10 inch disc, and somebody left this really cool hanger. Let's see if we can get that guy. No, nope, not quite. I think we're flying over. I'm gonna try the hanging target on the left-hand side. What? Whoa. What the wide, wide world of sports is going on here? 200, 300. Huh, getting a little rain. Wow, this stuff's all over the place. Right side target. I was. I'm going for the hanger. Oh, come on, you. Hmm. It was a lot of fun. Let's go back to the 400. We were doing real good there for a minute. 300. <laughs> 200. Kill him. Guys, we could do this all day long. The cool thing is, is uh, this is still relatively cheap stuff. Over this whole left bottom nut. I'm trying to hit that swinger. All right, that's it. Let's load up another uh, 30 rounds and uh, have some more fun. Here we go. All right, well, it's doing some raining, so we're gonna hold off from the uh, 30 round run down. See if I can get this shit loaded up in here. Hey, what we're gonna do? I'm gonna shoot it like this. Here we go. 100. 200. Ah, missing. 300. 400. Well, let's just say this. If that was an armor personnel carrier, I would have been hitting him. <laughs> right side target, 500. Uh, there it is, finally. <laughs> All right, 
So that's the uh, that's a pretty cool deal. Uh, as far as ruggedness, uh, it's typical uh, primary arm stuff. Now I know just recently they had an announcement saying something about they were experiencing some cracking uh, around this area right here, and that anybody who's already purchased one of these guys, uh, they're sending the parts out. So that's a good thing to know. The beauty behind primary arms, a lifetime warranty, and uh, I'll tell you what, I've been nothing but more impressed. This is a great focal length. Look at that hand guard. For where we are at 500 yards for uh, personnel or IDPA size targets. And I will tell you this, man, this is really, really nice. The glass is impeccable. Let's take some photos so you guys can see exactly what we're talking about. Mm -hmm.